Okay, our next poet coming to the stage, please make some noise for Miss Antonia Harold. A little bit louder, please. Starting out as a crispy dollar bill, we are money. Children always ask, if you could be anything in the world, what would you be? But they never ask, what about we? What are we, humanity, human race? We are money. You see, starting out as a crispy dollar bill with purity, and we have the scent that all newborns have, freshly printed ink. We are kept close by our owners, cherished for our firm innocence, not wanting to be spent, prolonging the days that we are used. But eventually, like everyone else, we are tempted by the candy store, and we overcome, and then we are shoved into the cash register and brutally organized by ones, fives, twenties, tens, and taught at a young age to conform and expected to know in a short time to be pushed into the real world and where we want to go next, where we're supposed to be, who are and what are we supposed to support. We are soon rushed for answers and tossed around. We are written on, scribbled on, doodled on, etched on, marked with vulgar words, observing the corruption and disparity. We are then shoved into the pockets ravenously of the hobos begging on the street, pushed into the bra of the, uh, pushed into the bra of the, <laughs> The bra of the prostitute who is bought by the senators and the government officials. <laughs> we are in the trench coat of the drug dealers in the back alleyways. And I don't know what page I'm on. And <laughs> <laughs> drug dealers in dark alleyway, cradled mad by the dishonorable food companies withered and worn, ripped and torn, abused, misused, then dropped in the streets, lost and forgotten, lonely and cold and marveling in self-hate for all the wrongs that we've partaken in. But there is hope. We are picked up again, like lightening someone's day. We are that good luck charm. We make a difference. We are placed comfortably inside that warm leather wallet that is our safety again. Be a second chance, becoming a part of a new rotation in life. The hard earned paycheck that feeds the concave bellies of the ch hungry children at home, paying for the chocolates and flowers of those long departed lovers, paying for the restoration of the environments that we had once destroyed, and paying for the cancer that needs to be solved. And there's hope again. We are money. So uh, I want to give extra props to Antonia because uh, I have been that person who's like, what page am I on? <laughs> We're all on the same page. That's what I'm talking about. Give it up for the poet. Also, audience, I love y'all. Y'all are doing a great job. Um, I also just, I want to give it up because I was feeling that poem. Uh, you know, you know, as someone who uh, sometimes has fi fail felt, see, I'm, I don't know what page I'm on. That's how good. Felt oppressed by money, or maybe by not having as much money as I would like. Um, you know, I felt, you know, that poem. And I know that anybody in here ever had any sort of money issues, you know what I'm saying? Anybody? Any adults ever in your life relate to that poem? Um, or young people? Yeah, two hands. Wow, okay. Feel for you, brother. I I see you. Um, so I, I, I want to offer a solution. If you ever feel like you've been oppressed by your money, um, I want to help you liberate it. Um, 
And if you feel like your money, you're being, you know, it's defining you and constraining you, if you take it and you don't want to burn it, um, I will gladly take it. And I promise you I will burn it or invest it wisely. So give it up for the poet one more time. Thank <laughs> you.